So I somehow managed to delete the intro clip for this video, well done me. So this is the 2013 tag and I'm using the same questions that Stephanie Dreams did in her video and her video was actually a combination of a few different tags so I'm going to put all the questions below in the description box so if you want to do this video then you can use those questions and please leave me a link in the comments if you do do the video and then I'll go and watch your one as well. The first part of the tag is 13 highlights of 2013 and I'm going to go through these quite quickly so that I don't end up with a massively long video. First one is going ice skating with my friends at Murrayfield Ice Rink. First time I've done that in about 10 years or something. And that was really good fun. Second one is going to see my sister graduate from uni. She did a performing arts course down in Sunderland. So in July, I went down with my parents to watch her graduate at the Stadium of Light. And yeah, it was just a, a nice day of being like a proud big sister watching her graduate from uni. The next one is going to an abandoned theme park in Berlin. We went to visit this place called the Spree Park, which was an abandoned theme park. And we did a tour of that. And I am pretty obsessed with looking at pictures of abandoned buildings and things online. So this was really amazing to actually see one in the flesh. Another sort of travel related one is going abroad on my own for a, a work trip. I went to Paris in April all by myself um, to visit a client and that's the first time I've ever done that. And I've been to meetings with clients before on my own but not going abroad for one. And it's kind of a bit out of my comfort zone, I don't really like travelling on my own so it was kind of a big step for me to do that and I'm glad I did it and it all went well and I now kind of feel confident enough to, to do that again um, this year which I will be doing more of that this year so yeah I'm glad I did that. Next one is uh, a night that I went to with my boyfriend and my parents at Edinburgh Zoo. My dad was an adopter at the time and we went to it was a members and adopters night they do them a couple of times through the year. I actually vlogged that trip as well and that was just really good fun. I love the zoo and to be there sort of at night time when it was a bit quieter and getting to go around and see all the animals was really good fun. This one isn't really an event or anything but one highlight definitely for me this year has been making lots of friends through blogging. There's a really lovely community of Scottish bloggers up here and I have made amazing friends for life through going to events and going to meetups and things um, and yeah there's just there's some of the nicest girls I've ever met and I'm just you know so lucky to have made such good friends from it and that has definitely been a massive highlight for me this year. On that subject, another two of the highlights involve those girls. So the first one, we went on a little holiday to Aberfeldy and like we stayed in a cottage and I vlogged the whole trip. I'll put a link to that um, vlog below. But yeah, we just had such a good time kind of chilling out in pyjamas, drinking cocktails, playing board games and just generally having a really nice time together. And the weekend before we went on that holiday, it was Laura's birthday and we all went out for a cocktail class and then we went out to the Hive for some dancing and that was, again, that's another one of my highlights. It was such a fun night. This highlight's probably a bit pathetic, but buying my MacBook has been one of the most amazing things this year. It just made my blogging life so much easier. I used to have a little netbook that I used and it was just so slow doing everything. I've become addicted to Netflix as well and yeah it's just it's made my life so much easier and I don't really know how I coped without it now that I have it. Another highlight this year was going to my friend Holly's wedding. Holly and I lived together in uni for I think three or four years and myself and our other old flatmate Anna, we went to the wedding Catch together. Up properly because we don't really get to see each other very often anymore. We all live in different places and there were a couple of other girls there as well that we also all knew through uni. Really sort of nostalgic day so I really enjoyed that. On the subject of old friends, I also had a festival day of fun um, during the Edinburgh Festival this year. My friends who I used to work with in Debenhams back when I was in uni, um, we've now known each other for about 10 years and you know we still see each other pretty regularly but there's a couple of people that, well there's like four of us that live sort of in the Edinburgh or Glasgow area. Um, and then there's one that lives down in Hull and another who is currently living in France. So it's very rare that we're actually all together. And this was the first time in, I think we worked out that it's about, been about f four years or three years or something 
and we'd all been together and um, we just had a really nice day. We went to I think five shows at the festival. I had organised it with like military timing and we um, had just like went, met up for breakfast, lunch and dinner, drinks, lots of shows, just really really good fun. For my birthday this year my boyfriend got us tickets to see Girls Aloud in concert so we went to see them um, for the weekend of my birthday and stayed in Glasgow and I've been a massive Girls Aloud fan basically since they were on Popstars The Rivals. I had an amazing time at the concert um, I think I almost cried about three times <laughs> during songs. We had like quite a fun afternoon before we went to the concert as well. We went around the west end of Glasgow and got cakes in this nice little cake shop and I bought some jewellery in this cute little boutique shop and went for dinner at a nice Italian place and it was just nice to get a proper day out together and then yeah the concert just topped it off. My final highlight of 2013 was having my five year anniversary with my boyfriend and we went away to stay at the hotel called Phonab Castle and it, would, it was just recently opened, literally I think two weeks before we stayed there it opened and it was just absolutely beautiful. In Pitlockery, our room over had a balcony overlooking this loch and it was just so nice and yeah, the fact that it was our five year anniversary just, you know, made it even more special. It's kind of crazy to think it's been that long but then at the same time it feels like it's been so much longer than that. Like, I feel like five years has flown by but at the same time I feel like I've known him for my entire life so just nice. The next question is what are your goals for 2014? So I did a post recently in my blog about my 2013 resolutions and basically how I didn't stick to like any of them and I kind of concluded in that um, post that I think resolutions are a terrible idea because they just basically serve to make you feel bad about yourself for having not kept them. So I'm not making any resolutions this year but I have got some goals, things that I would quite like to do this year but I'm not gonna you know feel really bad about myself if I don't actually stick to them. So the first one is to get healthier. So I'm not going to make any like goals about I want to lose a certain amount of weight or anything. Like last year when I said I want to lose five stone, which did not happen. Um, but I just mean, you know, I want to eat a bit healthier, go to the gym more, you know, just sort of make myself feel better kind of thing. The next goal is to move house. I currently rent a flat with my boyfriend and while we're not really bothered about getting on the property ladder and buying a place, we would like to move to a slightly bigger place. Ideally with like a garden and maybe a third bedroom that we can make into like an office or something. So that is something that we'll hopefully do this year. We're going to start looking this month and you know kind of get an idea of what is out there. This one is that I want to do a bit more traveling so I expect I'm going to be doing more traveling with work this year. I might be going over to Dubai for a trip and I've got another trip to Paris at the end of January. So I'm expecting to do a bit more travel there but I also want to you know go on maybe a couple more holidays. So I know I said that we're going to be wanting to move house so obviously we need a bit of money for um, you know rent deposits and things like that but we should still be able to fit in a couple of you know short holidays through the year as well and hopefully um, I'll also be going on an abroad holiday with the blogger friends as well. So the ones that I went, the girls that I went to Aberfeldy with and maybe a couple of others as well. And yeah, we're been talking about maybe going to Amsterdam or something. So that should hopefully happen. And then on the blog front, I kind of, you know, my goal is to keep going with my blog, try and post more regularly. Same with YouTube as well. At the moment, I'm quite sporadic with when I post on YouTube as I want to try and get more of a schedule. Um, so my plan is to try and post three times a week on my blog and try and post... Um, once a week on YouTube. I really want to try and do more fashion stuff on the blog. Um, I like doing outfit of the days and things but I haven't really done that many of them um, last year and I've got a tripod now so I really I've got the opportunity to do proper outfit pictures so I want to try and do more of that in the new year. Next question is your best clothing purchase of the year and for me that would be my denim rose print dress from Primark. I wore this to death in spring and summer. I had it on all the time with loads of different outfits and different accessories and things and it was only £10 as well so I definitely got my value for money from that and it's one of my favourite things I've ever bought from Primark. Next one is a new skill that you've learned in 2013 and I think that would probably be video editing because when I first started like my first ever video was not edited at all I had no idea what I was doing and pretty much until I got my MacBook I didn't really know like how to do very much I knew how to 
you know, cut clips and things like that in Windows Movie Maker. But I didn't know much more than that. So when I got my MacBook and I started using iMovie, I kind of learned a lot more along that way. Now, I'm not saying I'm an editing pro. I am absolutely nowhere near that, but I can do like a lot of things with it. I know how to, you know, add music over the top and add in images and like make clips black and white. And I've learned quite a lot along the way and been able to make my videos a bit better edited. <laughs> um, but there's definitely things I still want to learn. For example, I have got absolutely no idea how to do an end card. I have read up on it and I still cannot find anywhere that tells me how you get like those like little video clips within the clip that are playing. No idea how you do that. I really want to learn how to do that this year. So if you know how to do that, please leave me a comment in the comments because I'm just baffled as to how it is done. Next one is your favourite photo of the year. Um, and this is a photo that I'm not even in, but I did take it. And it's from the Aberfeldy trip and it just really sums up kind of the like childish fun of that weekend. Next one is your most loved song. And I think my most loved song of 2013, it's probably Wrecking Ball by Miley Cyrus. I know Miley Cyrus is one of those people that you either love her or you hate her, but I probably, I kind of love her a little bit, even though, yeah, she's made some questionable decisions this year, but I've always liked her music. Um, I liked back in the days when she did a bit of country, and now when it's kind of a bit more dance pop type stuff. Yeah, I really like that song. And the final one is your most loved TV program of the year. I could say Breaking Bad for this, because I have loved that so much, but actually I'm going to pick the American Office. I pretty much devoured the entire, like, eight or nine CDs, however many it was, in the space of like two months, just like could not get enough of it. That's what she said.